Big industry and wildlife rarely live happily side by side. But here at the Hampton Nature Reserve near Peterborough, that couldn't be further from the truth. Between these hills and ridges lives one of the largest populations of great crested newt in the whole of Europe. And it's all down to a combination of great conservation work and the humble brick. For over a hundred years, Peterborough has been an industrial hub for brick making. With kilns and quarries dotting the countryside, at its peak, it would supply 12 million bricks a week. John Setchfield started work here in the 1960s as a young lad of 15. This quarry was worked by two digger machines working in tandem. One took the top layer off and uh, the other one dug the clay out behind. And the top layer was tipped back into the quarry and that's what made the ridges. Over time, the smaller holes filled with rainwater, creating a perfect habitat for animals, especially newts. Early summer, springtime, you would see newts swimming about and crawling around the reed stems and that sort of thing. You've created yeah. a city for great crested newts. Yeah, yeah, it seems we did, yeah. The population exploded, with around 25,000 great crested newts making this their home. Up to 17 centimetres long, with distinctive orange pattern bellies, they are the largest newts in Britain. And in spring, the males develop a jagged crest to impress the females. But whilst they thrived here, in other places their habitat declined. So they've been protected since 1981, which means any building work has to consider the newts. When Peterborough expanded in the 1990s, this whole area was taken over by developers. But thanks to the newts, a wildlife zone was created. Dr. Silviu Petrovan is the conservation coordinator here for frog life. Silviu, this really is a unique landscape, isn't it? It is indeed. We have very good populations of reptiles, including uh, common lizard, grass snakes, lowworms, and very importantly, adders. With thousands of homes still to be built, the latest development is a new road. So to reduce the impact on the wildlife, they've come up with a novel idea. Huge tunnels underneath it. But isn't this overkill for newts? Not at all. Making the tunnel bigger makes sure that actually there's good circulation of air and therefore newts going through the tunnel wouldn't actually experience a big drop in temperature and humidity. To monitor the wildlife, cameras were installed and revealed the newts scurrying through. But they're not the only animals using the tunnels. That's a mudjack. Mm. Wonderful. And they can get through the bars? They can, yeah. It's uh, quite a tight squeeze, but somehow they manage. It's a fox. Mm. Badger. Mm. Brilliant. I can't believe how many different species of animal are quite happy just to wander through it. But it's those protected newts that are prioritised. And with over 400 ponds on the reserve, monitoring them is a full-time task. Liz Morrison has the job of working out numbers here. And the best time to go out is at night. So, now that it's getting dark, we can start to look in the ponds with the torches and see what we can find. It's a new survey. What numbers are we likely to encounter? In a single torch scan, you might see 10, 20 newts when you multiply that by the size of the pond and then the number of ponds that you've got across the site. We're talking about thousands of newts. Our bright lights quickly locate the newts, but as well as counting them, it's important to give them a quick health check. Liz has a special license to handle them, so I'm able to help. But catching them can prove to be a little tricky. That's it. Got it! <laughs> this is a female, of course, Liz. That's right. They don't have the crest, but they do have this lovely orange stripe at the base of the tail, which is a continuation of their orange belly pattern. Look at the colour of that belly. Each belly pattern is unique to each individual newt, which allows us to be able to identify news. This female is given a clean bill of health and quickly popped back where we found her. It's still early days for the current survey, but indications seem to suggest the population's thriving. Let's hope this place remains a newt stronghold for generations to come.